Microsoft Exchange has two new zero-day vulnerabilities. One is dubbed CVE-2022-41040, and the other CVE-2022-41082. Now, the first one is a server-side request forgery vulnerability, and the second one is a remote code execution vulnerability if the threat actor has access to Exchange PowerShell, and that they can compromise the system, get a web shell, and use that machine for later use. Now, both of these require authentication. That does mean that adversary has to have credentials, so it has a limited scope and impact, and actually this does in fact differ from proxy shell and proxy logon as we had seen in the year before. This is different. This is not proxy shell, proxy logon, in case that confuses anyone hearing about this. The patches for those vulnerabilities do not and are not sufficient for fixing these issues. With that said, at the time recording, it is October 2nd, I'm not wearing a watch, and we caught wind of this on September 29th, 2022. At the moment, there is no patch available, but there are some mitigations in place. In fact, Microsoft has finally released an advisory about this. I believe on the 29th, we were just tracking this through a GTSC article that caught wind of this and was announcing, oh, there are some zero-day initiative ZDI tags for this, and I'll leave the links for those in the description. But now, at least, there's some mitigations that have been automated by Microsoft in their announcements. I believe they have accurately claimed this as limited and targeted attacks. I think there are, what, like, less than 10 that are seen in the wild, and we aren't aware of any public attack scripts or any exploit proof of concepts available to the public, again, at the time recording. But I didn't want to talk too much about the vulnerabilities in this video. In fact, what I did want to talk about are those potential proof of concept exploit scripts. Because there has been a surprising amount, or at least more so than I've ever seen in the past, apparently this is common, there are a certain amount of GitHub users and GitHub repositories that will create a fake illegitimate scam advertising the sale of these exploit scripts to target these zero days. All of these have some files and some language and vernacular to make this look pretty convincing, but then for the actual code, they end up linking to a location on Satoshi Disk. SatoshiDisk.com, where, hey, you might be able to download files for the right price of however many Bitcoin. I think the first notice of this, all credit and kudos goes to Husky Hacks or Matt Keeley. I think he was the first individual that I saw at least notice this and then announce it. Hey, shared this on Twitter, explaining that he had gone ahead and reported this user and the repository and created an issue to notify, hey, I'm reporting this for false advertisement of a current new zero-day exploit and vulnerability. It is a scam, it is illegitimate, and you should not be purchasing some of those exploits if they were to even exist on satoshidisk.com. Funny thing is, this started to pop up even more. I saw another account get created and then create this exact same style of repository, again linking and pointing towards satoshidisk.com, and then another popped up, and another user popped up, and this time they created another repository, even a second one, one like, oh, CVE 2022-41082 POC, and then one RCE, and again, hey, I would go ahead and create an issue and report that user. Actually, one really interesting one, I think this was a uh, user Tim Walby that I was tracking. After I created the issue, reported the user and notified and explained in the issue that I had reported this user account and repository, they closed the issue and then removed the issue section of the GitHub repository so no one else could do this and no one else could really see it easily right off the bat. So I thought, okay, what the heck? Uh, I'll go ahead and create a pull request where I could... You know, you can't ignore that. He, I forked the repository, which is silly. Now I have a weird scam repository, at least semblance of it on my own account. I'll, I'll have to go delete that. And I continued to explain, this is a scam. This is illegitimate. This is fake. This should be reprimanded. This is a user being nefarious and spreading malicious ill will. But that user, Tim Walby, modified and edited my pull request. They even were able to change the description, the text of it just as well, alongside the title. And I thought, I didn't know you could do that. I'd never seen that before on GitHub. I think there were some pretty funny comments that went along with it. I'll go ahead and read this here, but let me add a warning, disclaimer. Hey, there's some profane language that I don't normally say out loud in my videos, at least not meaning to. So there's the warning, but let's read this thing. Careful, some butchered security researchers who fucking is jealous. Go fucking get a life if you can't fucking figure out the point of vulnerability. It's fucking not my problem. <laughs> Educate yourself and you will figure this out. Don't be dickhead. This is very important. <laughs> 
So that is that, and more of these users and accounts just popped up, you creating and registering their account just a little bit before creating these repositories, and then myself and others, I think, would go ahead, try to track these down, and then report the user, notify by an issue or pull request or whatever we can do, or just not, and just report it and share it on Twitter for public shaming and blasting. I think there was a Rooter account or R007ER and then like a JMALDA, JMA, whatever, four LDA, I don't know. One user account was even created to sort of, I don't know, masquerade as Kevin Beaumont, who's been doing an incredible job tracking this actual vulnerability and incident and spreading information and getting education out there. And they were trying to freaking, you know, impersonate Kevin Beaumont. Like, what the heck? That account got removed, that account got deleted, so thank you GitHub for doing that. And again, these just keep popping up, a sort of little bit of whack-a-mole. I'm still reporting, I'm still tracking some of these down, and I'm actively doing that right now. In fact, there is one, like, actively right now. Here, if I'm on GitHub, and I start to search for CVE 2022, and then a 410, because, hey, that could very well be either 41040 or 41082. Now, if I search through all GitHub, looks like, oh, goodness, there's another. I don't know if this is a Nuclei template that's valid or not, but this one, Chrom, Kercom? Certainly looks bad. Scrolling through this, they kind of have a boilerplate, repeated copy-pasted thing that they might be able to retrieve off of different news articles. But here it is. Including all the necessary how-tos, analysis of the vulnerabilities in a PDF file, putting only five limited copies that you can purchase and buy on Satoshi's disk. Some folks have been saying, hey, there's only 10 for sale, 25 for sale. But if you go to this link, like straight up go here, Look at this, explaining that is a CSRF vulnerability, even though that's the 41040 uh, that has to be changed with 41082 to be able to get this. But this is all the code, all the files that they are allegedly selling here for just uh, $167 or 68 if you round up uh, USD charge for Bitcoin. And going to the Python script itself here, look, they just point you right towards it. And my face is in the way here. Five copies over at Satoshi. Super lame. Let's go ahead and report this user. So I'll go ahead and click on them. Again, they joined 11 hours ago, only just now created this repository, and that is the first thing that they create. So let's go report this. Report abuse. I like to go to reporting harmful code. I wanna re report another type of malicious code, and I'll explain this user, and oh, there I wanna grab a link to their repository. There we go. This user and repository is riding off the hype and FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt that comes with a new emerging zero-day threat and vulnerabilities, this time against Microsoft Exchange. This is not the first user or repository to do so, as multiple have sprung up falsely advertising the sale of exploit scripts available for purchase with Bitcoin via Satoshi's disk. This is a scam, illegitimate, whoa, illegitimative, and fake. I think that's fine. You can go and submit that. There we go. Another one hopefully down soon. One nice thing, I do get a confirmation email and I've gotten a ton of these whenever, hey, we are contacting GitHub support. Let me show you that. Here <laughs> you can see all the ones that I've reported. Oh, and uh, your request has been updated. This is for Tim Walby. Thanks for your time. Thanks for taking the time to let us know and they'll investigate this, but nice. I include some screenshots in a, as many as I can. So after talking with some people, apparently this happens like all the time. This has become the norm. It's sort of a trend whenever there's a new vulnerability or zero day or exploit that folks are screaming and running around like a chicken with their head cut off on. GitHub, apparently some users are created, create some false repositories and just try to scam people. I'm sure, hey, maybe five, maybe 10 or 25 people will potentially make that purchase. But the best we can do is spread awareness, get the education out there and notify folks that that is illegitimate and not real. It's totally fake. I hate playing whack-a-mole trying to get these reported and taken care of as I can, but honestly, I wish I could say, GitHub, oh, you need to do something about this and kind of point fingers, but like, I don't know, I feel like it's hard. I feel like that there's not a really good or easy answer to that. Sure, you might be able to block things that link towards Satoshi Disk. Maybe that's the best option we have, but sure, if I could get all hoorah and say, GitHub, hey, please fix this, 
I don't know. I can't offer a great solution because it's just what people might do when they're trying to take advantage of this and ride off the hype and fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Anyway, wanted to notify you, wanted to bring this to light, wanted to shine the spotlight on some more of those stupid, evil scammers doing some nefarious stuff, especially even now on GitHub. So uh, I hope you can join the fight now that you're aware of this. Hey, when there are new vulnerabilities or CVEs out and about, try and search through GitHub and try to see, hey, is there any of these that are just absolute scams, wrongdoers that we can report and help make the internet a cleaner, better place? Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoy, and I hope you are patching as soon as you can once the Microsoft patch actually comes out for this new, the new set of zero days and vulnerabilities. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.